What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Tartar Reducing episode of the Center Beacon. Getting right into the action here. This is a uh, clan battle video. Uh, we took on uh, COK, I believe it's Company of Killers. I was uh, pretty excited to see these guys drop in with a uh, full squad. I had never gotten to play these guys before by reputation. Uh, I know them to be pretty good and I think they're in the top, uh, I don't know, top 50, top 25. I mean, they, I apologize. They could be top 10 for all I know, but uh, I've, I've heard they're pretty good. So I was kind of excited to get this challenge. Um, so it's always nice when you face somebody new. You know, you don't know how they're going to play, uh, what kind of bots are going to run. You know, if you notice these guys, they ran some stalkers. Um, a lot of clans, it seems like they don't do that anymore. Uh, since everything got faster, it's like, why not just bring something, you know, bigger with more firepower than uh, the stalker that kind of used to be the bane of gold. Um, and of course, as I say that, I'm running mine here. Uh, simply because we, uh, one of our last... Last few nights we went on some runs and I felt like we were having trouble getting beacons. Uh, not playing with full squads, getting some randoms, and I felt like I needed the speed to kind of help cap some beacons. Uh, so that's why the stalker was in. Uh, I tend not to do as much damage, obviously. Don't place as high um, when I uh, when I put this little guy in, um, especially since the magnum nerf. Uh, they're just not the same. But uh, I was running it the other night and, uh, you know, had had some success. It was nice to get back in the thing. Um, I really like the speed. You know, I kind of miss that, uh, you know, when you play silver uh, or, or, you know, lower, lighter, faster bots. Things are faster. Um, gold slows you down a bit, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's still fast. It's just a different kind of speed. Um, so you can see here we're kind of in their spawn. And of course, you know, I see the uh, double thunder carnage, so I'm going to go right at him because that's what you do. Um, you know, my uh, my stealth makes me pretty much invincible, right? Uh, yeah, not so much. And he's got a buddy, and it's uh, three thunders versus a stalker and two magnums, and that's never going to work out too well. So, but I, uh, I think, no, I did not get the bacon, but uh, I tried. So, um,. This is a you know pretty good game. We had the uh, the good spawn, but as you can see uh, in the beginning of the game, they pushed over there to the damn beacon. And I'm not swearing; I'm simply describing it. It's a family channel, but uh, they got over there quick. And so this this board played a little bit different since they had the uh, the damn spawn. And uh, you know, this, this kind of, it's, it's kind of interesting, the different spawns on this map, because it kind of reverses the field on you, depending on which spawns you get. Um, and the game plays, you know, or I should say the map plays differently. Um, so, you know, here it is not doing so good. Uh, this is, this is not the one you want to go toe to toe, uh, you know, right here in the center where I'm waiting on my aphids, which are usually something I like. You know, obviously you want to maximize that range, and I pretty much do not here. Don't get the kill, don't get the beacon. Um, you know, once they kind of get uh, bunkered in on that center beacon, it's kind of hard to take the thing back. Not unlike Yam and Tau. Had a lot of games on there recently, and it's pretty much whoever gets there first and locks it down. It's If they know what they're doing, it's really hard to kind of uproot them. But you can see here we get a we get some uh, focused fire uh, on that center and start to push back in there. Um, the uh, the the good thing or the bad thing about the dam spawn is that you kind of like if you want a shortcut to the center, you got to cross all that open ground and it can be problematic. Um, so we get the center back here. You know, I'm eating rockets or maybe those are pins or something. We get the center back here, and I kind of make it. I don't have much bot left, but uh, you know I'm able to do a little bit of damage to that guy. And you can see on the uh, scoreboard there, they're starting to mech out maybe a little bit. Um, and that's one of the you know that's one of the keys. If you guys are like uh, these maps with like a central beacon, you've really got to have the coordinated uh, kind of uh, liberation effort. 
Um, I know if you're not on comms, sometimes it's hard. But uh, what I what I kind of do even when in random play is I might hold up, you know, for like a second or two. It, you you feel like you got to get there, and the and the the beacon bar is sliding against you, and you're gonna lose. But if you hold up and wait for some buddies to catch up to you, whether you're on comms or they're randoms or whatever the case is, um, it just uh, it tends to work better. As you saw, we had two or three or whatever it was. We were able to retake the center, and then the center's not in play really for them. Um, you can see we're holding it down. We got two guys over there. They're mecking out, and you know you can kind of go on, uh, you know, to other uh, tactical objectives on the map. You know, capturing one of their other uh, spawn side beacons. You know, starting to push in on them here. Um, you start to strangle off the map, and then they, you know, if they can't move, uh, they can't win basically. Um, so that's something I've been kind of uh kind of having to relearn a little bit uh you know i i tend to kind of charge into everything head first and you know lately uh playing gold and playing with my uh clan buddies you know uh you just you kind of start to intuit that sense of uh good solid team play you know you pair up and even not on comms you find yourself with your buddy Two of you are going left, two of you are going down the middle, you know, maybe two to the right, whatever it is, you know, um, not unlike, you know, like say like, you know, in basketball, you know, you've got strong side, weak side, you know, that type of stuff. And it kind of just starts to come a little bit more naturally. So that's just a little bit of uh, the anatomy of that game. Uh, pretty good game, pretty good back and forth. I was glad to get to play those guys. Uh, and as always, I will see you next time at the Center Beacon.